Good morning my succulent friends So before I go out to the garden Let's start our day with a nice breakfast Cooked by my beautiful daughter Allison It is with a Milo and pancake with honey and banana So, so let's have breakfast guys And then afterwards let's go and play in the garden hello my succulent friends how are you all doing so in today's video guys i'm going to share to you my newly purchased succulent i purchased them from different places some of them i purchased from the ballarat begonia festival here in australia and some of them are from cacti and succulent society here in adelaide and we're also going to do some repotting so let's start guys and join me and see what I add in my collection so here's the other plants that I purchased lately guys this is a Echeveria hovii here it is so it needs to be repotted as much as possible and I got two of that here we go it needs to be repotted as well and I also have this um, Haworthia that is variegated. It's pretty. And I also have some lithops. There you go, some lithops. And this one here, it's always say Echeveria, so I'm not sure what is the identification for that. And I also have this. This agave here, it's a gorgeous one, agave potatorum. <laughs> so there you go. And what else? Oh, so, this one will be fine here. And I also have this Echeveria etna. So I want to repot this one to give a chance to grow bigger. There you go. So those are the other succulent that I purchased lately and this one is from the South Australia cacti and succulent community so there they are right, so these are all the plants that I purchased lately guys so uh, it's been with me for a few months now I haven't just got a chance to part of them so this one here this tray here is from south australia cacti and succulent um, community and they held it in adelaide and this one here is from i purchased this from the ballarat begonia festival so i'm going to repot these guys and put it in a pot maybe i'll put some of them all together to maximize space and see how it goes so these are some of the pots guys that i'm going to use to repot or to repot some of the succulents so i have this one uh, for a while now and i haven't just got a chance to use it so this time i'm going to use this to repot some of the succulent here and i also have this one and i also going to use this red one here I tried to put those small ones so maybe I will going to put these little ones together for now as you know guys I ran out of space already so I'll just have to maximize space and put them all together in one pot the first one that I'm going to repot guys is this Pachypytum oviforum this one is one of my bucket list and this cost me $35 The next one to be repotted guys is this Echeveria Madiba. This one cost me So guys, 
guys while I'm reparting the rest of my new collection, allow me to share to you my visit in the Ballarat Begonia Festival here in Victoria, Australia. Please sit back and enjoy the little tour. The Ballarat Begonia Festival, guys, is an annual festival of a unique and rare collection of begonias. But unfortunately, I didn't capture any video of it because of the long lineup. So I decided to enjoy the outside colorful flowering display, which are breathtaking. So guys, this festival is a free entrance and it happens every month of March. This event is held in the Ballarat Botanical Garden. And of course guys, for me, festival is not complete without succulent. There are lots of beautiful rare succulent here for sale. There are some that are affordable and some are expensive. So I just able to purchase few because it's out of my budget. guys aside from beautiful flowers display and succulents for sale there are also lots of activities that you can watch with or involve yourself with <laughs> While you're watching and enjoying my little tour, I managed to repart all my new succulents. So here they are. But sadly, not all of them because it starts raining. So let's have a closer look. So from this um, pot here, I have the, um, what we call this, this cotyledon uh, bear pose, which is a variegated one. And this one here, this is a Echeveria Sirius. I uh, pay for $6.50 for this. 
and we have the lovely Q which is cost me $30 for lovely Q HB lovely Q now this lovely Q got a little bit damaged in the middle but not too bad and over this side here we have the Echeveria Hovii or Hovii. It's a variegated one as well. And then we have the Echeveria Bor Bussarum. There you go. This one got a beautiful color when I got it. Then after three months the color changed. It become green or pale. Maybe because it didn't get a lot of sunlight since we are in winter season and we also have these um, Nocturne Echevia Nocturne which is $25 in one minute this one is $15 and this is the pot beautiful pot and I add a little bit of a ornament there which is a bird and next to it we have the Echeveria Madiba. So here we go. The Echeveria Madiba is $35. It's gorgeous, isn't it guys? Beautiful. Now over here it's another um Echeveria Hovii. There you go, Hovii. And this one got a beautiful shape and form. And I don't know how much I pay for that. I think I pay for $15 or $20 that time. And then over here, we have the Ipakipaitum of the Forum, which is $35. Gorgeous in that pot as well. Same color, bluish and blue. So it has a bluish pot. It matches the color of the of the forum now over this side here the mixture of little succulents so this one here they are not all variegated I only have one variegated here which which is this um, Echeveria Silver Queen variegated now I don't remember how much I paid for this but I think I paid maybe $25 for that little one Yes, it's not cheap. And then I have the Echeveria Blood Romeo. Very tiny. It's cute. And this one here, what attracted me with this is those curly tips. So I don't know the identification for that. And I also have this Longissima Monstros. And it's $30 as well. Not cheap, but for the size but it's so pretty and this one here I'm not sure what sort of agavoids this one but I think it is an Echeveria agavoids it looks like a Amistro not sure and then at the back here I have the what is this this is a fantasy beans so I think it's a G, it's Graptoveria or Graptopetalum. I haven't checked it. So look at that, how cute it is. Beautiful, gorgeous. And next to it, this one, I got this from online. Um, online Facebook and same with that. So this one here is $44. And it is uh, Carpo, Carposcularia lemin, Leminii variegated one. Now this one I think it's getting a lot of water because you can see from the leaf it's cracking. And I'm not sure how long this variegation stays or lasts. And next to it we have the Sedum Clavarum variegated one. It's so gorgeous. It's slow growing at the moment. Uh, it's not really moving so fast, uh, but it's gorgeous as well. And same thing, I pay $45. Not cheap, 
but hey uh, that was a present for myself <laughs> and another beautiful one which is this Abicolata variegated long leaf now I got this one from last year 2021 and I just have it show you guys but now it's about time that I'm going to share it to you and look at this guys when I got this it's very small but now it's gorgeous and big it's beautiful so maybe I'm going to repot this again so that it will grow more bigger and I can propagate it look at the tip guys so gorgeous so beautiful in this blue pot here gorgeous so that's my other variegated one and next to it we have the this Echeveria rainbow gorgeous look at the color so pretty so we are stepping up a little bit not a lot because they are all expensive so we probably join the club of those people um, collecting some variegated one but I don't do it much because they are so expensive so uh, next one so next one we have this Ionia variegated one it's very gorgeous so I got it for very small for I think 25 or 30 dollars and now it's waking up a little bit so it's beautiful and I have this one here I think this all of these lithops cost me $20 so they are very small but they start multiplying beautiful so I got this one from online online shopping as well and as well as that and another newly addition to my collection is this um, cotyledon orbicolata short leaf and it's a variegated one as well so tiny and it cost me $50 or $60 for this I know don't judge me I know it's so expensive but, but it makes me happy so I bite the bullet and buy it one because this is one of my wish list and I seen some seller just still selling this for $150 or $100 and I found a cheaper one so I grab it so here it is beautiful and we also have this Echeveria Rolly variegated one I have three heads here and I'm not sure how much this one let me have a look um, no there's no price but I think for this I pay $50 including the pot beautiful pot and with those three heads of roly variegated one so gorgeous so it's not growing much at the moment because it's winter here and some of the succulent when it's winter time they are dormant so i guess that's all i can show you for now and i hope that you like what i shared to you this weekend and i can't do much guys because the weather here in south australia most game here is very windy and cold and it's raining for the past four weeks now so really doing much in the garden is not a lot when the weather is wet and cold so here they are beautiful and excuse my table it's really wet <laughs> and dirty so here it is beautiful gorgeous so guys if you enjoy watching this video and you are my viewers and not subscribe yet please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time we have a video like this and guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and as well as please leave me a comment in my comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can so guys i will see you next time Thank you for always watching our video 
and I'll see you next time. Bye!